What is up everybody? In today's video we are going to be finishing up the drivetrain on the E30, installing a new clutch and getting it back in the E30. All that in today's episode, my name is Ryan, this is Project Race Car, let's get into it. So we are currently working in the middle of the garage. We needed to install the new clutch and fix a coolant leak and I went ahead and did this off camera. I uh, pulled this off and added a full new gasket um, and made sure that everything was good and that there was going to be no leaks. If you guys didn't know, I am using the TF Works uh, flywheel and the adapter plate and we are going to be using the Clutch Masters FX400. It is a six puck clutch and should be perfect. Um, it has a flywheel side and a uh, clutch side and so we are just going to go ahead and line this up and get this thing ready to go. I got some brake clean on the pressure plate so we should be good to go. It is all clean. And we are just going to set this guy up. So one of the main reasons why I went with Clutch Masters is because it's still going to have a stock clutch feel. Um, it's going to be able to handle up to 550 horsepower, which will be a ton in this car. So I don't know if we'll ever get to uh, maxing out this clutch, um, but it's going to do great in terms of the power level that we throw at it. Um, and so I figured for the price, um, for the drivability, since it is still sprung, it won't be as aggressive as something, um, you know, that, that would handle more power. There is the Toge Factory twin disc, but um, it is a bit expensive for people on just like a budget. So that's why I went with the Clutch Masters FX400. It's a very good price and it will also be able to handle just all the power that we throw at it. So this is a perfect clutch for myself. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull out uh, one bolt at a time and put red Loctite on it and then put it back in uh, and just kind of go in a crisscross pattern uh, and get all the red Loctite on. Now we are just going to torque down all the uh, bolts in a star pattern. Again, uh, I have a uh, something holding the crank, so we should be good to tighten these guys up. Cool. All right, now that is done uh, and the clutch is all the way off. Okay, let's see how easy this is gonna go. I'm not holding my breath. Nice. And down uh, here. Not bad. Well, we got this thing back on. The ZF transmission is nice and good and tight to the flywheel and everything. And the uh, transmission in neutral spins nice and free. So that means that it is connected because when we put it in gear, it stops, which means it's connecting the transmission to the front. Okay, so this morning I've been working and the engine is ready to go into the car. Uh, we have it all on the engine hoist, the transmission is on, and Greta is ready. So I'm gonna put the camera down. Uh, we are going to watch me finagle this thing in. Uh, and hopefully it doesn't take too long.
So uh, now the crane is uh, as far as it can go forward, um, but you can see that uh, we still have a decent amount of room to come back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now twist this the opposite way. And if you guys are going to be pulling the engine, I need to invest in one. You guys need to invest in one too. Uh, just get one with a crank on the end. Uh, and then that way you can either use a ratchet or a gun to uh, twist it. Okay, after a lot of just like twisting and getting that all figured out, the engine hoist is separated kind of from the car. Um, all the way back. Perfect. So the K-Series is back under its own weight, so that is good. Um, we just need to bolt in the two motor mounts and then we are good to go. Then I'm going to go ahead and mock up the uh, turbo because I'm dying to see it in the car. Uh, and then we will also get the intake manifold on as well. Also, this valve cover, as you guys can see, is just destroyed. Uh, I am going to be getting a new one, so don't worry about that. I've been really harsh on it, but I will be replacing it very soon. A huge pro to the Toge factory uh, manifold because the bottom three uh, aren't full bolt holes. Uh, so they're just half holes and then we can just slap the gasket already on and then drop our manifold in and then the top two already line up. So that is super easy, especially with the gasket and trying to get that to fit properly. Um, and then we can just torque down these bolts. Okay, now look at this thing. Heck yeah. This downpipe is going to be so easy. We're just going to go straight through the hood. I'm just kidding. But there is a ton of room to make a super easy downpipe. Uh, and then the turbo is sitting sick. One of the best things about the K-Series is that since it sits so far back, uh, we are directly on the uh, subframe. So there isn't a lot of weight uh, in front of like the shock towers and in front of the subframe. Um, so a lot of this added weight um, is going to be right on the front wheels. So it shouldn't add any weird feelings to the chassis. So obviously next we have to figure out all the wiring harness. We have to figure out the actual downpipe. Uh, no, I'm not doing a hood dump. Um, well, even though that would be super easy to do. But we are going to figure out the downpipe. We need to order and finish the intercooler uh, and then get everything routed and get new injectors. And then we should be good to go. The turbo feed line should be super easy. Same thing with the turbo drain line. And we should get this thing ready to rip. So now that we have the engine back in the car, uh, I'm going to make sure that I have everything ordered and ready to go. Everything should be pretty simple from this point out. Uh, and we will just be able to order some parts and get everything fitted up. This downpipe should be really easy to make uh, and it looks just so good in there. I'm so ready to have this thing ripping and uh, actually dynoed and fully, fully done. Like I said, we will be getting a new valve cover and getting everything all set up. If you guys could leave a like on today's video, that would greatly help me out. And until next time, my name is Ryan. This is Project Race Car. Have an amazing day. Peace.